dare I say, it's almost chilly out here. I mean, it's not actually cold. My guess is though, and I'm usually pretty accurate with this, is that it's close to like 60 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit. What is that, like 15 to 17 Celsius? That's pretty cool whenever you've kind of gotten acclimated to like 100 degree weather. So to catch you up, if you have kind of not been tracking every step of the way, we moved to South Carolina. We have not moved into our home in South Carolina yet. It wasn't gonna be ready for us to move in until the end of this week. We shipped our stuff um, using like a shipping service for the majority of our things. And so it had to leave our house in Arkansas two weeks before it was gonna be delivered to our house in South Carolina. So it, there was like this limbo period where we could not quite like we were gonna be in between the two places. And so we knew that we were gonna have this limbo period months ago whenever we planned all of this. And I was talking to my friend Rebecca and she was like, well, if you wanna come stay at the cabin for a little while during that to get a break from the camper and to just rest after such a big push from the move, you can. We kind of planned in a few days here at our friend's cabin during the in-between part of our move. So as soon as we leave here, it's only two hours to our house in South Carolina. We are going home, our house will be ready. Our stuff is actually getting delivered today. Jeremiah's brother is there taking care of our animals and all of that. And we're gonna go home and move into our house. And this trip has been very restful. We've been here for a couple of days now and it's just been really nice. I've been uh, getting some hands-on experience with dairy cows and I've been milking and just trying to grow in confidence around dairy cows because that's going to be the next thing that we add to our farm is we want to get some dairy cows. Hey guys! Y'all coming? I put you guys in a rocking chair. It'll get still in a second. Rock on the front porch with me. <laughs> I was telling them last night because we were discussing like how we came across each other in the YouTube social media world. And Rebecca and I actually met on Instagram and we, we became friends on Instagram and uh, before I was actually doing YouTube. I guess around 2016, when I made my very first videos, my friend Jake was at our house um, and he was telling me, Jess, you gotta do this. You could totally do YouTube. You could make YouTube videos and I was like, I don't know, I'm not very good on the camera, like I don't really know. And he showed me Justin Rhodes on YouTube at that point. And he was like, look at this guy, like you, you could do this. And we started watching Justin and Rebecca then and I wanna say that they were somewhere around 70,000 subscribers at the time. And it was a big inspiration to me to make my first YouTube videos. Now I did not pick it up regularly. I did a few and then quit. And then I came back like a year later and did a few and then quit. And then I came back a year after that, had this determination to really treat this like a job and like show up as if I had a boss and show up as if, as if it, was, it was that important and not give up. And um, yeah, so it's kind of cool for me uh, to come here even though I've spent a good deal of time staying in this cabin up here next to their house now and uh, you know a good time with these friends and in intimate conversation and um, you know not with the camera on having a real relationship um, it is there's still kind of like a huh like I remember when thing that kind of comes up sometimes because they definitely had a big role in inspiring me to turn on the camera and share my life with you guys. You ready? You warmer now? Okay, let's go do it. So I've shared with you guys before and I'll link that video about how we decided to film a TV show. And we met a ton of support and excitement on that. And then also some people that were kind of like asking some questions like don't sell out, don't go Hollywood and all these different things. I wanna kinda go further into what we're doing because we're doing it like it started. We actually have begun filming and yesterday in the Rhodes living room, we all watched our first episode that was edited and I cried. 
And you actually cried. Yeah, I suppose the tell everyone that. <laughs> I did. <laughs> it, it was really, really good. They did a fantastic job of, of telling our story. When you get a YouTube channel and it starts to grow, you start to be approached by people, producers and scouting agents and all kinds of people in that industry. And over the course of the last five years, we've actually been um, down that road multiple times of like interviewing and talking and feeling things out, seeing what it would be. And some of those things have like just run into dead ends. Some of those things we've actually walked away from because they wanted us to say or do things that we were not comfortable with. Hey Ben, you can come down right here. But it was something that we wanted to do. And I've had a lot of people ask me why. Well, what's different about that? Like, why a TV show? You already, you shoot a vlog. Like, why, why would you want to do something different? Or more importantly, people asking what's different about it. And, The first thing is that I've just kind of had in my heart for a really long time that it was something we were going to do. Like, like a knowing in your knower kind of thing. Like, we're going to do this someday. And for a while, when we started doing the vlog, I thought, this is it. This is, what, this is that thing that I've been feeling. And then I kind of started to realize that it wasn't. And some people will understand that because some people um, kind of follow that kind of leading. But... Some people probably won't wrap their head around that. That's okay. That's just, you know, that's something that I know for myself. Oh, this is something we're supposed to do. And that gives me confidence in making decisions. But also, there's this other big factor. I love a good story. Um, the reason why I, I vlog more than anything, like why this gives me so much satisfaction is because... I just love a story. I don't know if it's because I was a, an avid reader from a very young age. My grandmother, who was a huge influence on me, was also a reader and a writer and um, very into theater. Like, she, she loved a, a story. She loved a show. And so I don't know if that's something that's just ingrained in me. I love storytelling. I love bringing people into an experience and, like, lending it to them. We have this massive dream for like cultural impact. I have for years wanted to build this big learning center of wanting to do like a farm to table restaurant to make an impact in a community, to basically take what I've been able to experience in my life and, and let other people glean from that and learn from that and grow from that. For a long time that felt really impossible. Like I didn't know whenever we were having a hard time paying our bills and we were struggling to get our little personal four acre farm really going to a place of productivity. How in the world at that point could a big learning center be possible? I just, I cannot connect the two. Well then YouTube started to take off and it was like, oh, okay, there it is. I have so much hope in the validity of that dream, of, of that happening. And w one of the connecting points, there was this big move that we really felt led to make to South Carolina and finding this land. And already, guys, I just cannot wait to share um, our, our, our home with you, our community with you. I'm telling you when I tell you, they have my heart entirely like... I mean it, like it is amazing the the love that we have been enveloped in and our new our new place in the in the world. I knew we were making this big move. I knew we had this big dream. And I really, really wanted to tell the story well. And sure, I'll be vlogging. I'm not gonna stop vlogging. Um, I'm not gonna close this window into our everyday life. But the point of us shooting this show, again, I think of everything on a five-year plan, on a, on a longer-term vision. I'm not thinking of what is this gonna do right now. I'm thinking of years down the road when people come to this learning center and whenever people see this impact and they start thinking, well, I don't know that something like that is possible for me. Oh, I have this idea, but I don't know if I could actually do it. Well, they, they could do it because, because of who they are. The fact that this has been documented from the beginning matters to me. I want people to be able to go back and see this beautifully created, um, wonderfully edited and filmed thing where it's just a different point of view. You 
beautiful. Good morning. Good morning. Maya, aren't cows majestic? Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, that, that's majestic right there. Look at that. I'm not put showing that cow pee. <laughs> Cows are majestic. I think it has to do with the fact that they're so much bigger than us. Yeah. You know, like horses feel majestic. <laughs> Dangerous. Yeah. But majestic all the same. Maybe there's just something that just inspires awe about something that's so much like more powerful than you. I don't know. That's, that's four hands milking at the same time. Mm -hmm. Give me the next kind of looks like Jordan has four hands. hands. Don't want me in the head. I keep squirting you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll get you back. <laughs> Be gentle, Ben. There you go. Hey, ben, ben, what's your job? Hey, tell me, tell me over here. What is it? Fly swapping. Fly swapping. Okay. <laughs> Daddy, I petted the cow. She did. I'm trying to squirt it back into the bucket. How much milk is it? Half a gallon. Half a gallon? Mm-hmm. Cows make a lot more milk than goats. How far away is our... Oh, yeah, let's get that wet. Papa, wet. Yeah, it's wet. Papa. It's time to wash it. Okay. So listen. So I want you to get on that that team. Get on it and squeeze it just like a goat. Just flat on that side and they all come over to this side. It's a game. How many flies are going to get on your side before you get more flies on my side? There's... Don't worry about the flies. You just get the milk out, okay? It got the stars on the Let me see. Oh man, look at this pro. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I get it. Mom, you have never milked without a camera. I've never milked without a camera. I have milked without a camera. I see camera. cows in roots and rats. It's just future. Um, yeah, no. Oh, 100%. We never milked without a camera. Soon, the, the near future. We never. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, uh, the rune is. There you go. Hey, we can get sunlight. Oh, good. You feel good about this? Yeah, I'll be fine. That'll be so good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you want to pet him? You can pet the sheep. What do you think about that? They're so cool. They're so cool. I like this one. You like that one? Yeah, she came up to me yesterday. Can go back to my friends? You can go back to your friends. I'll help you over. So, I said we wouldn't get sheep. And, like, I'm not saying we're gonna get sheep. But, I will say we could maybe someday get sheep. Thanks for the milk and lesson, girlfriend. Appreciate you. Back to the topic of telling the story. I came out here in February. Rebecca was having the baby, so I came out here to kind of celebrate that. And then also, I am writing a first time homesteaders book. I've talked some about it, and I'm taking the photos for this one. And I wanted to take photos of the cows because at the time we weren't planning on moving as soon as we ended up moving, and I didn't know if I would have cows of my own to take photos of. I didn't know that I might. Hello, turkeys. Hello. So I came out here in February. At that point, the Rhodes had just released the show that they were producing themselves called Rooted. And I got into a conversation with Justin 
and I talked to him about the fact that we had kind of gone down the road of talking to different producers, talking to different people, talking to different networks, and kind of shared the fullness of our experience with that. And he basically said that they had decided to do it themselves to be able to avoid exposing their family to any sort of risk that comes with that industry. And to maintain the ability to tell their story, you know, from their perspective, actually genuinely making something that was authentic and truth, truthful. And I asked him at that point, or, and I remember this, we were straining milk out, and I asked him this morning on chores, I said, what's your end goal? Like, you just wanna make this show, you put it in your member area, that's it? Like, what? what's the end goal? And he was like, oh no, I wanna, I wanna make a network. And um, I just started asking a lot of questions. And I didn't say anything at that point, but I went home and I was I was writing in my journal my air, on the airplane on my way home, and I was really just praying. And I, I got home and I and I told Jeremiah like, hey, I think I might see the right way for us to do this. And I told him like, it doesn't quite have the immediate appeal of going with a major network. You know, that would be very legitimizing, I guess you could say, for a brand, but at what cost? And I told him, I, I said, I, I think that maybe we should talk to Justin about producing our own show and putting it on his network. And we'll be here on the front end of this thing, getting it off the ground. And so I sent Justin a message and I said, hey, I know it's premature and you're not there yet, but when you're ready to move beyond just your story. Um, I have a story to tell. And so that kind of opened the door to conversation and over the course of months, uh, we just kind of started talking back and forth and we found a production company that we could work with and maintain complete creative say over what we wanted to share of our family, over what we wanted to show of our lives. And in the meantime, Justin has been working on creating the app for Abundance Plus. And Abundance Plus is, it's kind of streaming service meets community meets master classes. Um, basically, Justin has created this and it is a, a paid member area. It does have an app so you can access it on mobile. And uh, the show itself, you can watch it on your, your TV through Abundance Plus. And it has a ton of information. So it's not just another streaming service to watch a show it is also a resource if you're wanting to learn how to homestead where there's a ton of information from multiple different contributors where you can watch our show but also you can get a lot of hands-on information on how to farm and in an age where there's a new streaming service every time you turn around I really liked that we were going to be putting this content that we were creating on a forum that had other forms of enrichment. So Maya, I have two questions for you mm -hmm. before we go over to the barn. I've been telling everybody in this video about one, why we wanted to do a show, like what the value in that was to us, and then two, why we decided to partner with Justin and put our story on Abundance Plus versus pursuing other avenues in order to do that. First off, I want you to would you tell everybody why do we want to do a show at all like why like the tv show format i thought along and hard about it um one of the influencers for me was that uh, seeing where we've come in this journey so far and like finding old uh, journals that have things written down of our goals for like that year and like and seeing that we have reached those things and then also pairing that with the impact that we're having currently you know just when we go to meet people and they're just like hey you you know you saved uh, uh my my faith or you inspired me to do this thing and thank you so much and it's like you know what else could we do were we dreaming big enough and i really felt like the tv show would 
give us a boost of being able to reach more people to to spread this movement of food and family and health really i think that's really what the bottom line is is that and so i really felt like it was like a next thing to dream for and believe for not necessarily for us because i mean we were extremely satisfied and happy and content with what we were doing and we we're just blown away with what we had but i really felt like we could do something more that would have more impact yeah well that was part of it the other part as far as the format because I mean, we could do other things that could also you know grow the impact and, and expand resources to be able to help more people but i like the tv show format because in our vlogs you're getting still getting a limited perspective and a lot of times you're missing a portion of it because someone's having to run that side of things while running the camera and largely that's jessica there's a lot more for her to give in this format because she doesn't have to make sure that the angles are right. She doesn't have to make sure that all this lines up or edits properly. She's able to just tell take a step back and, and tell like... the story and not have to worry about all the other stuff. And that to me is, is, is just as valuable as the vlog. All right, so why Abundance Plus? In talking to the other people that we've discussed, you know, doing shows with, and, you know, ideas and pitches and different stuff, there was just always this it never seemed like that was it i guess like there was always just something i was like you know this is close but it still doesn't feel like the right angle to take for telling the story the right timing the right time you know uh, if we had started our show back when we first had started talking about it we would not be showing the move you know it would have been a completely different thing a different premise and so it just never really felt like it was the right thing at the time and then our experience through talking with you know the current system of you know hollywood and networks all that just is like mm, there's got to be a better way to produce something more authentic um i also feel like retaining a uh, creative say was very important for us 100%. we built a brand um we've you know we believe a certain way and we treat people a certain way and so in that when justin started producing rooted it put the belief and this is a whole vein of inspiration thing it's like he's just producing his own show why are we not exploring that? I mean, right? it's not as it's not as initially appealing because no. it's not like, hey, here's a contract where you get promised a lot of money, but there are a lot more things that are important than money. <laughs> I mean, like the safety of your family for what's the the truth of your story. Like it's just a different It just started thing. the wheels turning and then that led to Jessica reaching out to Justin after one of the trips to North Carolina saying you know, let's talk about possibly, uh, you know, doing a show with, with Abundance Plus. And then he reached back out and it really just, that's when it felt right. I was like, I really think this is it. See, the more that I really just processed it, uh, the peace was with it. Yeah. And we go where our peace goes. That's a hard thing to explain, like going where your peace goes, but like, that's what we do. Hey boy. Okay, y'all ready to go down there? Go down where? Uh, go down to the house because what your dad there? just your dad just hollered up here and said, Jessica, your coffee's ready. <laughs> I'll also go where the coffee goes. <laughs> right, sweet Maya. I'm right behind you. We got so much squash down here. We dug a bunch of potatoes this morning. When I got up, I went out on the front porch and I saw them down there digging potatoes and I was like, my favorite that's my favorite harvesting chore what do y'all think of this cool barn what do y'all call this the human barn people barn. the people barn Are we all right sit down? yeah let me all right mr justin rhodes um this is <laughs> so i made a video here yesterday and i put it up and I just didn't even think to say, go follow the Rose family, because in my <laughs> mind, they all do. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. And a lot of people are like, hey, did they have YouTube? Who I'm like, that? no, no. That's yeah. how I was when I went to Joel Salatins. I didn't even introduce him. Some people were like, who wait, who that? is this guy? Jess and Rebecca, as I've said, have been dear friends to us. Um, I think the first time we ever came out to your farm, it's been a little over three years ago. It was 2018. Yeah. Our kids are just, I mean, I haven't even oh really my. seen my kids much seen. the last couple of 
all day so in the Forget creek and it. playing. And it has just been really awesome to be here with you guys and awesome to be working on this project together. Yeah. I kind of shared my perspective mm -hmm. of how you shared this vision of a network. Yeah. And we've been calling it a grassroots network between the two of us because yeah. it really is. It's yeah. a it's not mainstream. Mm -mm. It's not big business. Mm -mm. It's regular family saying we want to tell stories too. Yeah. And I just kind of want you to share your heart behind that with my people. Well, I, I think the heart behind it is Rebecca and I came into this homesteading thing and found out it to be so precious, like so much more value in it than we could have ever imagined. I mean, people imagine that, uh, you know, they imagine the, the chickens decorating the landscape and, and all these beautiful things and they have these unicorns farting rainbows. And <laughs> it's just this wonderful thing. And then, then when you get into it, it is blood, sweat, and tears and calloused yeah. hands. But then when you put that food on your table mm -hmm. and, and not only do you know that story, you were a part of that story, that's precious. Yeah. You find out that it's not the unicorns, fart, and rainbows that make this so pleasant. It's, it's actually, actually getting the, swatted in the eye it, while you milk it, the cow and then turning that into mozzarella right. cheese that's is hard right. earned. That's right. When, when we sit down to that mozzarella cheese, we're like, hey, you remember? She swatted us in the head. She was hard to get in the stanchion that day. She yep. was ornery that day. Whatever. That's what then makes that mozzarella so tasty. <laughs> it's precious. So that word tasty. is perfect. It's but precious. where am I going with that is my joy is not complete until I share that. Yeah. Joy is not complete until you share or laugh with someone else. Yeah. And so we found this something beautiful and so we share that with our YouTube channel. But then I see entertainment education changing. Mm -hmm. I see people cutting their cable. Yep. And exchanging it for what? Netflix, Disney Plus, HBO Max. Well, why not Abundance Plus? So then yep. here it comes, why can't homesteading be right there with it? Like, yeah. why can't homesteading, because it's so precious and beautiful and has the answer, homesteading deserves it. Yeah. Because it is so precious and it has so many answers to today's problem. Yeah. You know, in, in permaculture, they say the, the, the answer to the world's problems start in the garden. And there's so much news to that. I love that so much. <laughs> there, especially after, you know, going through 2020 and, you yes. know, feeling gloom after you just, you can't get away from it. You see the news, it's on social media. It just, you just feel down. But what does Lucas Nelson sing? Turn off the news and build a garden. Yeah. And that gives me chills. Yeah. And so that's the answer. So homesteading needs to have its own platform. So... That, that is Abundance Plus, but like I said at the premiere of our episode six of Rooted, my vision goes beyond me. Yeah. I don't want it to be the Justin Rhodes show over on Abundance Plus. Mm -hmm. And I want it to be a network. And it's not a network <laughs> if it's <laughs> just <yourself>. me. <laughs> so Jessica, you know, we needed Jess because Jess, you, there's a million stories. Yeah. There are so many stories. We're not short of story ideas. Right but you have this wonderful energy and excitement and talent and uh, you and Jeremiah, you, you have this ability to also see something beautiful, but here's the key. You see something beautiful and you have a dream. A dream is just a wish without a plan, yeah. without action. Yeah. And you have this ability to say, here's my dream, all right, here's my action. And yeah. I've, I've seen that in you over the last three years. Yeah. And then I saw it in you when you approached us to be in the show. And I'm like, all right, let's do this. Yeah. Uh, to me, whenever I heard you talk about the network, it, I just saw this thing in seed form. And I mean, it really just needed, it needed some soil. It needed yeah. some water. It needed the other elements. Yeah. It needed the yeah. plan. Because here you are saying, I want to, this is what I want to do. And I mean, that is so my heart to see the dreams that are in seed form yeah, grow. That's good. And the thing I love, and I mean, just kind of compounding on what you were talking about with the homestead being so precious, is that so many times whenever something is having to be produced, it's hard to produce something. It's hard to tell the story as authentically as possible when you have to consider like sometimes you have to reshoot something and throw the same clothes on so that because your camera messed up and you missed a shot you know like sometimes you have to to you have to produce a little bit to tell the story well and mm. keep the audience engaged yeah and 
I've found watching shows and watching movies and watching things about homesteading, I don't know if you do this, but this is the gardener me. I'll just be like, mm, that plant does not grow there. Like, or that is not, this is a wrong thing. Or they'll be yeah, doing yeah, something yeah. and it's like, that's not actually authentic. They'll, they'll have, I mean, they'll have a, a cow or a goat. About. They'll have something that I'm like, yeah, I understand they're trying to produce the story here, but this isn't even really a farm or this isn't even really a thing. And I love the fact that by doing it this way, mm -hmm. we can actually show real homesteading life. Yeah. Because Absolutely. that's what people are dreaming of. It's not a pretend homesteading life, it's real. It is. I, could, I, even, asked, I even asked Jessica, we watched episode one, yeah. and I'm like, uh, hey, when, when Jeremiah leans you back <laughs> to kiss you and was flirting with you and you guys hugged in the greenhouse, did the director tell you, tell to, do you to do that? And she's like, no. <laughs> You know, they just, you know, just. I said, they, no, they Jeremiah has this really thing. uncomfortable and then thing. Jeremiah was just <laughs> did, did his thing, and it was like, it was beautiful, and yeah. it was real. Yeah, that's it. He actually pointed out how, you know, why, why this over just con only continuing to do YouTube. We're still continuing to do yeah, YouTube. Yeah, yeah. But he said this is a different perspective. Jessica's not having to be the one to do all of the technical. You can actually see real interaction with us. That, that was huge. That was one of my big takeaways from it. Is like I your didn't even audience. Realize it. Your audience is going to get to see you guys from this third person perspective. I know. If I didn't you even think about that until <laughs> right? y'all said if, it. I was like, if, oh. If you and Jeremiah were to dance and flirt in the kitchen, well, you'd have to be holding the camera right here, and you're thinking about is it pointed at us? Yeah. Uh, and it's then you've only got one arm. Yeah. <laughs> but now there's this this camera crew that represents and stands in the place of the audience. Yeah. And so it's like they get to come and be in y'all's living room and know, sit at your really table. Cool. Like y'all sit down and you prayed at that table. Yeah. And the camera was that like, like there. It was like I was sitting at that table yeah. with you. Yeah. That is so cool. And, and that's I didn't something even think it selfie through. photography can't do. <laughs> so I thought of it because that was one reason I like our shows because yeah. like. For once, I'm not having to worry about the selfie cam, yeah. and people can catch me in a real interaction with my family. That is such a good point. I, th it's one of those things, you know. Sometimes you say, "I'm going to do this," and I think it's going to be valuable. You don't even find the value no, in it until you get, until right. right. you get to, You're right. you know, elbow deep in it. Well, thank you. Yes. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for taking taking a minute here and for hosting us this week. What yeah, a relief! It's been, it's great. been hey. so nice to yeah. kind of slow down. Do, do, help. I, t I told Jeremiah, I was like, we were digging potatoes this morning, and I was like, why is this so relaxing when oh, it's not your own it's chores? So <laughs> I, like, I love you don't care if, this stuff. If, if one gets pierced, I mean, it's not on <laughs> my potato. <laughs> <laughs> not my potato. Look, I'm milky <laughs> doing this stuff. Like, this is great. Like, <laughs> yep. Jonah had some friends out, and, and they were laughing when we pierced it. And Jonah was like, why is that so funny? <laughs> Because it ain't their potatoes. <laughs> but hey, you, you dug my potatoes. You are making mozzarella cheese. You yeah. are worth your weight in gold and have put in the work. Yeah. It's to totally level. Mozzarella yeah. cheese, you're in. Thank you. We, we love you guys. <laughs> yeah, love y'all too. So my goal today was to really give you guys our why. And I hope that this gives you an understanding of the choice that we're making here and and why we're doing it because I adore you um, tremendously having you all along every step of our journey has truly enriched my life in such a massive way and I love getting to share these things with you and I mean so many people thousands of you sent us encouraging comments and messages when we made this announcement but I also want you to understand our why I know that you're along for, for the ride with us. But just like I explained to my kids when we're going somewhere, like I've never been one of those parents. It's like because I said so or because this is, you know, because this is what I'm saying we're doing. Um, I do want them to trust me, but I like to understand where I'm going and why I'm going there. And sometimes the best I can give is because I really feel like we're supposed to. And I think that when you get into the habit of the people who are along for the ride with you, like really genuinely sharing your heart with them and giving them your thought process and your understanding that those times that you just have to say, I just really feel like it's what I'm supposed to do, they trust you. And so thank you all so much for trusting us on this journey. So down below in the description is a link where you can watch the trailer 
of our show, which is called Wilder Still, which has always meant to me that whenever you're willing to dream, when you're willing to search out the wild things of God, when you're willing to go um, well out of your comfort zone and break through the barriers of your own mindsets, and you're willing to just always go wilder, um, that there's always wilder still to discover. There's always another dream. There's always another facet of him to find. There's always some other level of beauty to push into and uh, another level of your own unbelief and fear to overcome too and uh, another level of your own unbelief and fear to overcome and that's what we wanted to name this show because more than anything that has been the theme of our life that has been the theme of mine and Maya's journey together it's been the theme of what's happened here on this YouTube channel and this isn't the end there's Wilder still even now so the link is down below if you'd like to watch the trailer um, in that you'll put your email address in the first episode of our show premieres this weekend um, everybody gets to watch that whether you're an abundance plus member or not uh, it'll be friday night at 8 p.m eastern time and the uh if you put your email in you'll get the email with the access to that and i'm so excited for you all to see it it's going to be just absolutely incredible to get to share this with you guys this is it's um been something that is just well it's wild <laughs> thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I bless you. Until next time.